what can you take us through that the touchdown? What what did you see there with the safety coming over? Um I really wasn't even looking at the safety. Uh, at the beginning, you know, I kind of had to fake block the, uh, the outside linebacker, and um, he fell off. And then I see the ball in the air, and you know, once the ball in the air, we always talk to attack it, and then whatever that's whatever happened, that's dead. And it, you know, it's off to the races. Steve, we're just um, down two games in the division. Can you describe the must-win situation, or if it was a must-win situation? Um, it was definitely a must-win, but um, kind of look at must-wins a little different. Um, must-wins are like if you lose, you're done. Um, so at the end of the day, we treat it as a, as a must win for sure to get back on track. And, you know, we got this mini buy and then um, get back to work on Monday, Tuesday, whichever day, Cal, want to have a bonus practice. <laughs> but it's not the first time you guys have had your backs against the wall a little bit and, and, and come up with a big win. What, what is it about this team that allows you guys to, in these kind of moments, meet them? Um, really, like, not beating ourselves, like not turning the ball over. Um, Really, that's the main thing. Uh, defense getting turnovers. We had two today, um, two picks, and um, two Ricky stepped up on defense and made plays for us. Well, what is it like to see that? I mean, not only the two guys on defense, but the rookie running back. Oh, yeah, for sure. Um, I don't know why he didn't score. I would have scored. Uh, <laughs> he said he was looking at the sideline, and people was telling him to go down for what I don't know, why he's looking at the sideline running anyway. But, uh, man, that's just huge. Um, it's kind of like next man up mentality. Um, you know, we always want Mooney out there, but uh, Renato went out there and um, – Take advantage of the opportunity yet. What did you see from um, just George's first touchdown? He's only going to get pulled feet down. Um, that was a dot for sure from Brock. Um, and the concentration by George with a guy kind of raking at it and getting his feet in bounds. You guys had 483 yards total offense. Did this feel more like your guys' kind of game? Um, we feel like every game is our game. Um, if we don't turn the ball over, like, if we don't beat ourselves on, you know, it's kind of hard to give a game away, you know. So um, I feel like we're going to turn the ball over and manage the clock like we normally do and run the ball well and hit hit passes here and there. I feel like we're pretty good. Devo, uh, Mike McDonald, Seahawks head coach, who's in charge of that Ravens defense on Christmas Day where gave you guys a really rough time. How much? Say it again. Uh, Mike McDonald, the Seahawks head coach, was running the Ravens defense to give you guys a real hard time on Christmas Day last year. How much does it mean for Brock and for all of you guys to come in here and just kind of put that to rest? Um, kind of, I didn't even know that. Um, I don't know that we was thinking about that uh, either. We were just coming in and knew we had a game today, and uh, it was a must win, and we went out there and got the dub. How do you spend the long weekend before getting ready for the Oh, we just cool. Like, we vibe. We got to get off your feet a little bit and rest. All right, guys. Thanks, you. Great. Thanks, you. Go ahead, guys. Rob, you said uh, during the week that you saw a lot of like, Seattle's defense, what you saw from Baltimore last year with Mike McDonald, but you obviously performed a lot better this time out. Were there things you saw in this game you kind of thought, okay, I see this and now I know how to navigate it? Um, I mean, sort of. Uh, I think just going into the into the game, you know, it was – if they run this, this is my answer, and and simple as that. I just try to keep it simple, and obviously check the ball down when I needed to, and and hit my number one or number two in my progression uh, as efficiently as I could, and and I just kept it simple. Um, you know, last year in that game, I feel like I just got out of rhythm, and I was trying to force stuff, and and it just I just wasn't playing in the right mindset um, of being aggressive, being smart, and taking what the defense gave me. So I learned my lesson in that game, and then. Uh, com coming into this game, um, obviously new personnel. It's the Seahawks, not the Ravens, and um, and so for me it was all right. Similar scheme, yes, but this is what we're trying to attack, and and how can I be efficient um, as best as I can? So that was my mindset. Brock, you mentioned, you mentioned kind of the need to find your identity as a team, and you have a game like this where, that you need to win, and then you have some injuries, and you have unseen replays, and all these things kind of going against you. What kind of step towards finding your identity do you think you took? Time? Yeah, I mean, obviously, there's always going to be stuff that you can clean up. And, you know, for us, our standard is, is high here. And so I think a lot of us would go to, all right, like we could have done this or that and be better here. But I think at the end of the day, man, it's, it's, a, it's a team sport. And so to go four quarters with all these different kinds of emotions and, and parts of the game and to be able to rally together and, and defense get a turnover and then us score a touchdown at the end. And uh, it's just that, that's team football, man. And that's the sport that we play. So I feel like we did take a uh, step in the right direction for sure. And um, we're always going to have stuff that we're going to be hard on ourselves and, and need to grow and get better at. But I really do think that we all as a team came together and, and found a way today really well. So Can you please take us through the, the touchdown passes to Kittle and just your trust value with him? Yeah, I mean, the first one you saw about or? Oh. 
Both. Uh, the first one, man, yeah, just uh, obviously a third down play. But for us, I saw just him have leverage on the outside, and I just needed to give him some space. Um, he did a great job of breaking down and, and being at the right depth and, and the landmark. And uh, he's really good at that. And so for me, it's just trusting and laying it on the sideline, knowing that my guy can go get it. And then the fact that he kept his two feet in was crazy. So um, awesome job on that. And then the second one, same thing. Though. It was pretty tight coverage. We had a safety coming down on him. And then he crossed face, tight window. And it just it comes down to that component of trust, man. Um, that's how. That's both of them. Uh, both touchdowns were just a trust factor. So something that we've continue to grow at, you know, throughout the off season and, and throughout the games that we've played together. And then tonight it showed really well. So I'm very proud of him. Did this feel like how it should feel? Like, it, did you it kind of feel like this was a, a get right kind of game for the offense? I mean, yeah, uh, every opportunity we step out in the field, man, we want to do that. We want to get better and, and prove to ourselves that, you know, we're going to play at the standard that we, that we need to play at and that we're capable of playing at. And so, uh, tonight was another opportunity. It was a Thursday night game and uh, a great great team in, in the Seahawks, great environment. And so for us to come out and uh, just do our job, do it well, and be efficient, I thought for all of us it was, like I said, the right step in the right direction. And so uh, there's stuff that we can still get better at, but more than anything, man, I'm, I'm, I'm proud of just how, how we all stuck together, man, as a unit. And uh, when guys got banged up or went down, the next guy came in and, and did their job really well. So. That's a good sign for all of us, and we just got to continue to to walk this road together. Well, what did you say about the rookies and the performance they had tonight? Speaking of stepping up for people, yeah, it was awesome. Just seeing uh, Renardo get his interception, Malik um, on the defensive side, man, that always fires us up on on the offense, and um, and then obviously Isaac uh, getting in at the end and and pulling away. It was sort of like a little throwback memory of like when Jordan Mason got in a couple years ago, and he had his run at the end. And uh, so, but for those guys to step in, man, it's the NFL. It's, you know, this ain't college and it's, uh, you know, it's, it's the real deal. You're playing against the best of the best. And so for those guys to show up on Thursday night, a primetime game like that, it means a lot to all of us as, as a team and, and them showing that. So we all got their backs and we're going to continue to grow together. That's good. Thanks. Thanks, guys. Hello. Yeah, I can't say enough about it. Um, so big, so big. Uh, you know, we talked about uh, during the week it being a must win and all those type of things and the gravity of the game uh, and to have your young guys, rookies coming in and making those type of plays to help win a game. Uh, so big and um, really happy for them, happy for our team finding a way to win. And uh, yeah, it was it was great seeing them do that. What's it like when you're saying it's a must-win game in the locker room? Is it practice field? Is it different heading into one where you guys kind of have the emergency light going on a little bit, even though it's early in the season? Yeah, I think, um, you know, we knew the gravity of the situation. We, we couldn't drop 0-3 in the division, you know, to start the year. And uh, my message to the guys on the field, you know, during warm-ups was, you know, just stay focused on the process, uh, be in the moment. You know, all this talk about must win, all this other stuff is great, but, you know, how are we going to execute? How are we going to come out? What type of uh, energy and tenacity are we going to play with? And uh, I think everybody showed up the right way. Right at the end of the third quarter, the Seahawks had a ton of momentum. Did it feel like you guys are going down the same path that you had the last two weeks? Thousand percent. Thousand percent. And, you know, that was something. <laughs> that was something. Yeah, it sucks, but yes. Uh, uh, it was something that uh, felt familiar for sure. And I'm like, hey, we can go one of two ways right here. We can stand tall uh, in a hostile environment in the game that we know that we got to get. Or, you know, we can settle for exactly how we've been doing, how we've been playing the last couple of weeks or the last, you know, couple of losses we've had. And um, that's what I'm probably most proud about right now is, you know, the way we stood up. Yeah, I mean, defensively, uh, I think we they had brought it to within one. Hey George, we had brought it within one. They had brought it within one score, um, you know. And I'm looking at Bosa and some of the other guys, and I'm like, "Hey, like, you realize we're winning the game, and like we we have the opportunity on defense to stall them out right now, you know, and and, and kill that momentum that they've gotten." So I think we went out and we stopped them on that drive, and the offense got the ball back, and the rest was kind of history. But um, yeah, it was it was one of those moments where it's like, "Hey, you got to cut. Let's go do it." I know you weren't on the field for the, the challenge that, that Kyle threw there the, with, the, with the punt return. But at what point is, is it making its way down the field that there was an angle that you know showed him touching the ball? Or like, how, how does that kind of work when you're, when you're on the sidelines? Do you, do you hear about that at all? No, I, I have no idea how any of that works. 
you know, I let my head coach take care of all that. He, he does a good job. Uh, yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm just, out, I'm back in coverage, and it looked like, you know, we got a hitch from Gino, and he, he I thought Gino, John, Gino must have seen something that he liked, and I turned around to see Ronaldo pick that ball off, and my mindset was, let's go score and try and get a block for him. Mallet got his interception, and I'm, he ran right out of bounds. I'm like, what are we doing? <laughs> so you got to learn. <laughs> you got to learn. Hey, come on, let's go. We got, we got to go. You talking about for our, our offense or? Um, George, how, what, what did you guys do? You scored, didn't you? That was good. Eagles scored from seven, six, seven, what, 71 yards? But yours was the red zone. Yeah, George is a good player for us, and he does a good job. So does so does Brock. Um, yeah, I'm not really I'm not really worried about whatever they got going on. They I know they'll take care of business and do what they got to do. It's our our job on defense to be better in the red zone ourselves. DK had 11 targets, only three catches, and that looked like maybe it was going to be an issue without Mooney there. What, what, I'm sure you're not staring at the secondary, you know, but you know, what, what's your assessment of, of what the job they did? I can't, I can't say enough about it. You know, that was, that was a, a big thing for us pregame. You know, we lose obviously one of our best corners um, before the game starts, and guys are getting shuffled around. And he's a he's a big part of what they do. Um, I don't I don't know what was going on with with their offense. It didn't seem like he was he he was kind of rotating in and out. Um, but yeah, we we made his heart was we made his life hard for you know most of the game. And I know he got he got some on us, but we got more. And I'm I'm so proud of our back end and the way that they competed. All right, thanks, thanks, guys. And you guys have been in this position before in previous years. You know things aren't going great early in the season. And you get to a spot and you just figure out how to win it. Did you feel that? Do you talk about that this week? Did you say nah, something? nah. I mean, you know, it's, it's still early. Um, you know, it's only week six, so you know, we we can still write this shit without having to string off nine straight wins. You know, so today was important. You know, it was every bit of a must win without technically being a must win. Thank you. Yeah, I mean, we've all been waiting to see IG kind of turn it loose. We know he's a blazer. Uh, reminds of, reminds us a lot of Raheem Mostert. Uh, so I think he, Bobby T said he's an eyelash slower. But I don't know. The kid can run. So he said he was going down on purpose. So we'll give him that. <laughs> when you, you touchdown, a kickoff return for a touchdown, they score again. What was in your mind? What was kind of the conversation of the team? You know, given the losses you've had recently. Well, um, you know, each game is different, and we just had so much success on the offensive side of the ball. It's like no matter how loud they got, you know, we never just lost confidence. We knew that, you know, we didn't shoot ourselves in the foot with dumb penalties, or you know, we can operate in the noise like we had been doing. We knew that we would, you know, um, draw the ball down there and get in scoring position. You just scored in the red zone. And we scored in the red zone. You know, that's a, that's a big thing. You know, obviously, we still kicked a few field goals. We'd like to see those get into the box. But, yeah, um, that's one of the things that we're working on. What do you see just from the offensive line as a whole? I mean, today, average 6.9 yards of carry and no sacks. How do you feel like that group is coming together? Um, I think we're gelling pretty good. Um, you know, we're pretty much the same group outside of Pony, but... Tony plays like he's been here a few years, so uh, we got lucky with that. But, you know, we're gelling. You know, we just got to – obviously, as long as we can keep Brock upright, he's going to carve the defense up. As long as we can, you know, get the, get the running backs to the line of scrimmage clean, they're going to they're gonna fall forward. They're going to get yards. So, you know, we're, we're not where we want to be, but we, we're, we are in a good track. Trent, you mentioned Cooney, the guy who never played right guard in college, and he comes in in this new position, and he seems like he's like said a veteran top. How amazing has that been to see? It's amazing. I, I didn't know he didn't play right guard in college, so I just learned something. Yeah, that, which is crazy because, I mean, he literally has the makings of a Pro Bowl uh, pro player at that position. So, um, but he, he's, like I said, he's a godsend, man. He's a, um, you know, really, really good kid, um, really, really professional. Um, he, gained, he gained his teammates' respect just by the way he carried himself. 
what was your view on Brock's three touchdown passes? You know, he had the one to Debo, the two to Kittle. So from your point of view, are you engaged? Are you seeing the ball in the air? Yeah, I'm, in, I'm engaged. Yeah. I think I seen Debo's, um, you know, because the DN I was supposed to be blocking was chasing him in coverage. So yeah. I had a pretty good vantage point on that. Um, you know, I was kind of nervous because I know 53 can run, but you know, obviously Debo got the full stride and it was game over. So, but yeah, um, you know, Brock, as long as we keep him up right, as long as we keep the pocket clean, I mean, he's going to make the right decisions. He's going to put us in good position. So, um, you know, we're not surprised by that. It's a game. It's another game. I mean, it's not like we can get payback for losing in the Super Bowl. That, that ship is sailed. So it's another game. Uh, we got to come out and try to play complimentary football. We got to, obviously, we know um, what type of team that is. One of the best teams in the league. You know, all-star quarterback, you know, great coach. So it's going to be a tough game regardless. So, um, you know, we're going to take, take these three days off and regroup and come try to put a complete game together. All right, appreciate y'all. Howdy. <laughs> You're not winning the grimy ones. Yes. You consider this one winning a grimy one? We made it grimy, yes. Well, the, I mean, technically they made it grimy. Like, what a, what a response. You know, we score a touchdown, go up 23-3, to three, and then they go right down with a kickoff return for a touchdown. We can't, uh, we don't do anything on offense. They go down to skin and score, what, like a 90, was it 90, 95-yard drive? Um, I think all that does is reiterate that winning in the NFL is really difficult. It doesn't matter who you play. Anybody can win on any given Sunday. Great movie. Um, but I was just proud of our offense, too. Our defense held them for an incredibly long time, got them through the two-minute warning, had to score on fourth down, so they burned a ton of time off the clock. And then uh, I was just pumped that Coach Shanahan committed to our outside run. Like It wasn't pretty the entire day, but when they finally gave us a look that we've been practicing the entire week, we executed, and Isaac went for... However far that was, 70-something yards? 71. 71, decent. And then he slid, too, just so Kyle could get a touchdown. <laughs> Kyle's in everybody's ear about that stuff. It's hilarious. Coach, you guys have been in these positions before where your back's kind of against the ball. What, what is it about this core that allows you guys to kind of meet the moment when you, when you have these must-win type of scenarios? Um, I thought it wasn't a must-win. Close to, just short of a must-win. You know, um... I think, you know, Coach Shannon has been here for eight years. We've had a lot of guys who have been here four years plus. We've been in a lot of big games. Uh, we've won a lot of big games. We've lost some big games. And so it's just we are we are experienced in the moment. We don't let it – we try our best to not let it get too big for us. When you have new guys in the huddle, whether it's you know, new guys to the team from, you know, Sobert to Isaac, uh, you know, Chris Collins playing a lot this year. Uh, you just like when you have new guys out there and, like, when they feel the confidence from all the guys who've been through there before, they feel like they fit right into it and they have that confidence as well. So, uh, you know, it's just our team's been in those situations and we've done pretty good with those, especially, you know, here on the road in Seattle with an amazing fan base who just despises us, which I absolutely love. Um, it's actually fun. The guy in the corner with all the crazy signs, I gave him a hat after the game. I don't think he liked it, but that was pretty – I enjoyed that one. Um, but, you know, it's just uh, – I think we have a lot of experience to go through these these types of games. How rewarding. Um, you know, three touchdowns in my birthday week. Thank you, Brock. You know, it's fun, too, you know, when you have the exact same look on technically two different plays, but they look the same on two red zone touchdowns from one of the Cardinals last week and then this one. Uh, this is my second one tonight. They're basically the exact same look, different routes, but ended up looking the same. I don't know if I'm going to get that look again, but I hopefully people keep covering me like that. That's really fun. Can you talk about the first touchdown catch? Because it kind of from our angle looks Brock's good at football, and you know it's a it's a play that we installed, um, probably three years ago. We've run it, run it for a long time. Um, we've called it maybe a couple times in a game. You know, it's a it's a third down play for us, and for us to call in the red zone, we run it all the time in practice. It always ends up like that. Um, they were in a really funky coverage against it though, but Brock put it in the perfect spot possible, and. Um, I don't know if you guys come to our practices, but Coach Flurry, my tight ends coach, makes me do uh, toe taps on the sideline twice a week. So, helped out a little bit. Jordan, yes, Matt. At the difficulty level of that, concentrating on making the catch, knowing where you are, and making sure you get your feet in, how difficult is that for you? Um, it's a tough play, but I've been in the league for eight years. I've played a lot of football. You know, those are the plays that I've been 
pretending to have since I was a kid, you know, with my dad in the backyard. Like those are the plays that you dream of. And um, it's just fun to have the opportunity to do that tonight. And whether it's practice reps, visualization, whatever it is, that's what prepared me for the moment. Why did you have to go to the locker room? Say what? Why did you have to go to the locker room? Uh, I had to go to the bathroom. I don't know. No. <laughs> Maybe. Maybe not. Yeah, who knows? It's a question, it's a question for um, my next podium will be next Thursday. See you guys then. You said during the week that you're treating this as a must win. Did, did, was there a different sense of urgency going into this one? I think there was, yeah. Um, you obviously want to bring a high sense of urgency every game. Um, but when your backs are against the wall, it, it kind of brings it out of you. And um, and I'm just glad we, when the momentum swung there, we, we stuck with it. And that was kind of the message all week. Um, we got the win. This isn't the first time you've been in this kind of situation with your backs against the wall. What is it about this kind of core group of guys that allows you to meet the moment? In like yeah, I mean... Uh, we could definitely do better all around. Um, we kind of let let teams back in it, but we've been through so many situations and so many different games that uh, we're experienced, and, and that helps in this league. When you give up, not you, but the special teams gives a touchdown, and then they get the ball back and they score again. It's only one score game. Is it a conversation you're having on the sidelines? Is what's kind of the, the we just kind of talked about good or bad. Keep that same even keel, um, next play mentality, and um, and it was crucial to, to do that there. The uh, Bernardo Green interception there came at a pretty good time too. Uh, were you on the field for that one? Or what? I was. Uh, yeah, yeah um, kind of one of my worst rushes of the day. So uh, thankfully, he held it a little bit and threw it to threw it to him, but I'm happy for him. He's he's a, a Florida kid, so I always pull for them. Um, and uh, he's very, very talented, and we got to see it tonight. Yeah, you know, Channing had said back in the spring they had a, a sense that the rookie class was going to be pretty good. Did, did you get that sense at any point um, you know, during the offseason summer? For sure, yeah, kind of right away in the preseason. Um, they, they were popping. Obviously, it's a different deal when you're playing in, in real games, and um, they showed up tonight. How do you feel about just how pressure, or the pass rush, and the coverage tied together tonight? I think our back end probably had one of their best games, and we needed it. Um, uh, and yeah, I mean, we rushed, we got pressure. Obviously, we want to get them down, and we had some opportunities there. Um, but uh, we got the win. You got some big wins in the stadium over the years, Nick. I mean, how can you guys parlay this into? Getting on a roll, obviously, it starts next game against Kansas City. Yeah, it's huge. Um, obviously, this was a big one to get, and now we have a little time to get some guys healthy. Um, and then, yeah, I mean, we have a long road ahead, and uh, it starts with the team that we haven't beat yet since I've been here. So um, definitely trying to get the monkey off our back with that one. You find out before the game that Mooney Camp isn't going. JP, you lose, you know, basically in the first half. You got rookies and other guys, backups out there touching the ball and, and playing keep uh, roles. At some point, are you thinking, how are we doing this? Is it no, I mean, uh, I think everybody's, anybody with a uniform on could play well. And uh, Thursday night games are tough. Uh, there's definitely, um, your legs feel it, especially when it's a battle like that. And, uh, there's so many people going in and out that I can't even keep track. But uh, but I, I I didn't know JP got hurt, but I saw him rotating all the, the running backs. So um, I'm proud of the guys. Nick, how much of a factor has Malik Collins been in your defensive line this year? He's been huge. Um, he's a, a great veteran leader, and um, obviously with Grave down, having him has been a massive uh, thing for us. Um, and he could rush. He plays the run really well, so it's been been good. Nick, uh, next gen had you with fourteen quarterback pressures. Did it feel that way? Yeah, it felt that way. <laughs> felt What's that the frustration way. Yeah, that many and you don't have the, the sex to show? It's uh, it's a finishing business, especially when you're me and um, you're expected to finish. 
Um, there was a couple close ones there where it was almost ball out, game over, and um, I just got to keep going. It's a long year, and uh, just look at the tape and, and try and finish those because that's what players like me need to do. Yeah, I mean, it's good to hit the quarterback, obviously. Um, but you want to get there. You want to you finish for your team. Thanks. Thanks.